Ang gol, lalong lumakas ang baha. Grabe! Oh! Gusto lang yun. Catanduanas, Philippines, October 22, 2024. Oh! Okay, let's go to According to Pagasa, Tropical Cyclone Trami, local name Christine, at tropical depression level, entered the Philippine area of responsibility on October 21st. On October 22nd, Tropical Cyclone Trami intensified to tropical storm level. As of 10 a.m. Coordinated Universal Time plus 7, the eye of the storm was estimated based on all available data to be 335 kilometers east of Varak, Catanduanas, Philippines. As of 10 a.m. Coordinated Universal Time plus 7, Trami was moving west-northwestward at 10 kilometers per hour. Maximum sustained winds were 65 km per hour near the center, gustiness up to 80 km per hour, barometric pressure at the center was 994 hectopascals, and gustiness up to hurricane force winds extended outward up to 720 km from the center. Trami is forecast to move northwestward until it makes landfall in Isabela or northern Aurora, Philippines, on the night of October 23rd or early morning of October 24th. Lana, ang ang bumbong na yung tubig. Oh, dito po sa kinakatay tayo ang ko. Lumakas ng lumakas. Mataas po kami rito, mataas na lugar po yun na. Nadatayo ang ko. Yan po, sa baba po yan. Kalsada po yan o. Oh. Trami will then cross the mountainous areas of northern Luzon and emerge over the waters west of Ilocos region in the afternoon or evening of October 24. Over the West Philippine Sea, Trami may attain typhoon category before leaving the Philippine Area of Responsibility par on October 25. Most of TCWS No. 2 emerges over Catanduanas, Luzon. TCWS No. 1 is spread over most of Luzon. Visayas, Eastern Samar, Northern Samar, Samar, Leyte, Balaran, and Southern Leyte, and Mindanao, Dinagat, and Surigao del Norte Islands, including Siargao. Bucas Grande Group, based on NDRRMC report on October 22 at 0700 hours UTC plus 7. A total of eight seaports affected in Calabarzon, a total of 81 cities, municipalities, or under class suspension in Calabarzon and Region 6. As of October 21 at 1600 hours UTC plus 7, the NDRRMOC alert level is at red immediate emergency response. NDRRMC has activated Charlie Protocol, the highest level of emergency preparedness and response, in seven regions CAR, regions 2, 3, 5, 8, Calabarzon, and Mimaropa, 
high risk areas in case of emergency in response to the potential impact of TRAMI. NDRRMC also activated virtual EOC on October 21. NDRRMC held pre disaster risk assessment PDRA analysts meeting and core group on October 21. The Philippine Ports Authority PPA, and the Philippine Coast Guard PCG, are on high alert for potential impacts of TRAMI. NDRRMCOCD is actively disseminating weather warnings and monitoring the status of the dam, as well as the major river systems and their tributaries. The AHA Center will continue to monitor further developments and issue necessary updates. Thank <laughs> you.